which make up a Sikh or Sansada. And the first thing which comes to my mind is compassion, which is a virtue that I definitely need to be working on. And since the definition of compassion, the words which come to mind with it is empathy or kindness. And while these words do kind of represent what compassion is, the actual definition of compassion is that when you see someone else suffering, when you see someone else in need of something, you have a genuine, authentic desire to give back to that person to alleviate their suffering. And since the other day I was reading a study about how um, a scientist had hypothesized that um, while compassion is also a human virtue, it is also a biological need which evolved in humans hundreds of thousands of years ago. And to kind of explain evolution, the way evolution works is that any traits that we as humans have, they are all necessary for our survival. And therefore, over hundreds of thousands of years, we have developed and adapted these traits. For example, skin color. Those people living in really hot environments evolved to have very dark skin color because this allows them to process sunlight correctly. It reduces their risk for skin cancer or sun poisoning. So they evolved to have darker skin because it helps them survive. So kind of on the same train of thought, if compassion is um, hypothesized to be an evolutionary trait, therefore it is once or still is essential for our survival. And so I was really interested by this and I kind of started to look into it more. And I read about how um, compassion not only helps our mental well-being because it allows us to be happier, allows us to give back to other people, but it also helps with our physical health. Um, there was another study that was done where many people were interviewed by these researchers. They were asked so many questions. And at the end of the survey, these scientists realized that the people who li lived more materialistic lives the people who got happiness from cars, from houses, from money, these people had very high levels of inflammation in their body. And inflammation can lead to things like cancer, to high risk diseases. So it's something that you want to have a low level of. And these people with materialistic desires had high levels of inflammation. Whereas on the other hand, people who found purpose in their life by you know giving back to people, by doing charity, by volunteering, by spending time with family and friends, the people who are happy because of this had very low levels of inflammation in their body. And there's this is just one example, but I heard so, so many examples about how compassion and by volunteer, volunteering and giving back to others not only boosts our mental health, but also our physical health and can expand your lifetime by many, many years. And so this made me think that if humans evolved to have compassion, if at one time compassion was necessary for our survival, why don't we see it as much anymore? And then this started to think, make me think about Sangeet and the effect that it has had on me and my human virtues. You know, for my entire life, I was born into the mission. And so for my entire life, I've been surrounded by Madhurs. And I think that this constant love and kindness and compassion that has always been shown to me has resulted in me kind of taking it for granted. Sometimes I feel like these human virtues come so naturally to Sangeet that it seems to be in their very instinct that this is their first nature to show these human virtues to others. It doesn't matter what seva needs to be done, who needs a ride, what task needs to be completed, big or small, whatever you ask, it is guaranteed that this seva will be done. And when I go out into the real world, that's when I realize that, you know, they say that you become the people that you surround yourself with. And by going to Sangat almost every Sunday, by being in such a positive environment, by having this reinforcement over the years, it has resulted in me trying to unknowingly implement these human virtues into my life. And I think that this is why um, I found this article so interesting about how the effect of compassion has on us. Because I just thought it was you know, a natural trait to show kindness to others, to be empathetic, but has such a more deep down effect on the human body. And you know, so over the past couple weeks, or not even, like even the past few years, I've been myself trying to change, to be more compassionate, to do more seva. And Sadhguru Mataji's vichar the other day, she said that this seva and this change needs to start at home. If you want to change in the way that you treat others, first try changing the way you treat your family. And the biggest example of this I can see is my grandpa, my nana. Um, whenever he come visits us, what, um, every 30 minutes he comes into my room, he asks, Ako pani chie, na, na, ka dunga, na ka laundry fold kar dunga. 
whatever he thinks can make my life easier and my entire family's life easier, he will do it no matter how hard that may be for him. And I feel like this is what I aspire to be like, to have so much compassion that I don't have any hesitation in any task, whether it is asked of me or not. So since he's blessed me that I can continue implementing this in my life, keep bettering myself, and um, ultimately be able to achieve this true human virtue. Sa sa mga chiki, ay sa ganon, 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 ganon.